Hello and welcome along to this week's edition of the Long Haul Podcast. I'm Michael Dorgan and this week I previewed the historic New York versus Offaly game taking place in Tullamore Saturday. It's the first time New York have played a team outside of Connacht and the first time they have played two championship games in the same season. I'm at Gaelic Park and I've just finished interviews with New York manager Johnny McGinney, captain Jamie Boyle, along with players Johnny Glynn and Mick Cunningham. I also spoke to New York chair Joan Henchy. The game throws in Saturday at 9am Eastern Time, that's 2pm Irish time and it will be shown live on GA Go. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at The Long Haul Pod and all of our previous podcasts are up on thelonghaulpodcast.com. So I'm here with uh, Johnny Glynn and Mick Cunningham ahead of the Talton Cup game Saturday. Lads, uh, great to see. How's the preparations been going for uh, Saturday? Going good, sure. It's the same as the Sligo game. No one's given us a chance. So we're just... Nothing has changed, we're keeping the training going, the lads are still training, we're still training, nothing has changed. You're two leaders on the team, lad. I think you're the joint captains, yeah. the two of you, so you're both leaders on the team. How has it been difficult to get to get fellas back together and get fellas motivated since the Sligo game? It was a tough loss, but it was very close, you could have won it. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's a wee bit difficult, like after a game like that, where you know we feel we maybe left a wee bit out there. Um, but after a bit of a lull, obviously like you dust yourself down and go again. And then I think maybe after a session or two, we were right back at it. I think this last few weeks has been brilliant. Um, hopefully that carries into the Saturday's game then. What do you know about Offaly, lads? You only just found out at the weekend that you're playing Offaly. Have you been following them this season or what's the, the vibe been like? Uh, yeah, actually a bit. Like I know they're in Division 2 um, and I know they beat down in Uri, which is a big result. I know they have like, some quality footballers, like the two McNamies, um, and your derby in defence, and their goalkeeper's very good with kickouts and that. Like they're going to be a quality side. They won the under twenty All Ireland last year too, so there's obviously serious work being done there as well. It's going to be a tough challenge, like, but no one's ever said it was going to be easy, you know. So like, it's it's an it's an occasion we're really looking forward to, like, and we're chomping at the bit to get to get after here on Saturday. It's your first year on the panel, Mick. How have you been finding it? Tell us a bit about yourself. Where are you from back home, and what do you do out here? Uh, yeah, no worries. I'm from Castle Island, County Down. Um, I've been a software engineer over here in New York for the best part of five years. Uh, when I came over at the start, then I, I sort of I was playing county football at home, and to be honest, I was looking a bit of a break just because of the demands of it at home. And then obviously this year, just everything worked out where I could come join the panel, and it's been brilliant. Like meeting the likes of Johnny here, uh, it's a real community kind of brotherhood feel to it. Like to be honest, like everybody gets on the best with everybody else, and you know it. Like, don't get me wrong. We train like we tr- we've been training for about three over three months, and with limited games, obviously, just because of where we are geographically. But as I said, like it doesn't doesn't feel that bad because of the camaraderie and because of the crack you have with the lads, you know. Johnny, um, of course, you've you've played with Galway in the past, won an All Ireland medal with, with Galway, and you stepped away you now. But you've been involved in New York teams going past the last couple of years. Has there been much of a difference in this group compared to previous years? Well, I- I played in 2016 against Roscommon and we had a great team but what we had was like a team of individuals if you get me and I think it was credit to the management team this year it was the first time where they actually said right we're going to build a proper team here so like there was no real latecomers to the panel it was all like you, you didn't just get playing because of your name you put in the effort in training so I think that's when Mick alluded to the brotherhood feel to it I think that's when that's how it came about like you know, it's not just that we're a team now, we're a team of friends, friends, like everyone meets up outside of football now and it's great to see it. Like from years gone by, you had great names, great people involved, but it hadn't the same feel to it, if you get me. Like it wasn't a fucking team, like it was, it was a, yes, it was a team on paper, but like it hadn't the tight nip of a team, like, you know, so that's one thing that we have on our side this year is everyone's close. I'm sure yeah. it'll, definitely, it'll definitely stand to us in the game, you know. Yeah, everybody, as Johnny's saying there, like everybody enjoys each other's company, you know what I mean? And that's that's massive for boys that are meeting up at least three times a week, you know what I mean? So like it doesn't feel like any sort of chore or anything like that. You kind of can't wait to get the training, can't wait to see the lads, but you can't wait to put in the hard work alongside them as well, you know? Johnny, uh, you've seen the, um, the last the last the years you've been involved. The second game was always something that New York wanted, and now we New York have that second game. So how important is the Talton Cup and that second game? Well, like for New York, it's massive because everyone's gone about the GA here and GA here. But as you can see, we've nothing here, Do you know. So like we need we need this. We need people to see us at home playing, so we can actually start developing it properly over here. Like I think this year now we have a spine group of lads that was 40, and now it's down down a few numbers, but we have that spine here next year. So now we're able to build because you have a te- you have a game, you have a second game, now you have another game. Hopefully, like obviously we have more games this year, 
Friday we get the right result on Saturday. But now you can actually prepare properly for Leitrim. It's not just right, lads, you, you lost like a good luck and then six weeks before Leitrim it comes back again. Yeah. So now there's something we can look forward to, like the Talton Cup, it's made for New York. Sure, it's great. And there's a spine of inter-county players there. I think people were very surprised to see you go close against Sligo, but people in the know here kind of knew that you would go close. There's that. There's a very. There's a lot of talent there as well. I know there's camaraderie, but it's a very. It's a talented group of players. A panel that you have. Yeah, sure. Look, if you go down through the panel, even like Mick, Petty Boy, all the boys, like everyone has county f- football experience. I'm probably the only one that doesn't. You know, I just <laughs> thing, but like you didn't do too bad against Sligo. No, no yeah, <laughs> just catch the ball. But yeah, but like. The experience is there, so like it's not as if the talent is not there, the talent is there, but again, years gone by, the talent was always there, but the camaraderie wasn't. So now we actually have the camaraderie. We might not necessarily have as much talent as what teams have gone by, but like we have the thing that every team needs. So that's the biggest thing for me, you know. And yourself, Johnny, uh, you work in uh, drywall, isn't it? Yeah, I work with Top Line Drywall there. I'm with them since they came over the last eight years. Uh, two lads from Leeds from me. Yeah, it's, it's going good. I'm just project manager for them. I'm happy enough. Yeah. Nothing's changed. And you, you used to be going back and forth to play with Galway, and I think, uh, have you settled here now? I know you got married uh, or at Christmas, and uh, your brother lives out here, so do you see, do you see your inter- the, the hurling side of things uh, long in the past? Uh, I'm not going to say it's in the past now, so I don't know. You never know what might happen, but for now it's not, for now it's not happening anyways, that's the main thing. I'd actually hopefully get to support Galway on the sideline on Saturday night rather than actually being in the... Yeah, the we're, we're delighted to keep him here. Like that's <laughs> that's one of the main things we have to do this year. Anyway. I wanted Johnny as well. Um, you must be like I know you f- you fierce dedication. I played tra- training, played against you, training against you. Um, you're involved with so many clubs here. How many clubs are you involved with down through the years? You have a great graph for the sure. GA and great graph of organising here. I think do, I'm not sure if people recognise uh, how many clubs you're involved with. Oh, uh, I just can't say no. It's the fucking problem. You can't say no to people. So, uh, yeah, look, at I'm involved in a lot of clubs down throughout the years. Maybe not so as much this year because, like, the football yeah. there and money, I cut down, like, a few teams as much as I could. But, like, look, at I, I love I love being involved in teams, like, so there's no point saying it's a chore. It's not, like, I I, invo- I like it, like, you know. Well, like, you, you're, you're playing football or hurling with uh, Hoboken. You were playing football with Sligo. You were training... Uh, Sligo, Cork last year uh, and Liberty Gales. No, or, any, sorry, Moors. 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 That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, yeah, that was last year. This year, I suppose, when they said I dropped two teams, I didn't drop too many because yeah. they're all still there. So <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but look, it, I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, I enjoy the, it. The future is bright for New York. Are you, you have a lot of faith in it. Oh, look, it, as long as the right things are done, the right things are put in place to bring it along, the future is there. But if it isn't, the future will never be there. Yeah. But I think it's going the right direction at the minute. With the management team that's in place, the core group of lads we have, even there tonight, I don't think that ever happened before when those kids came up to meet the New York team. Yeah, do you know? And that's that happened tonight. And even that alone is a small start. So, like, look, it is going the right direction, but we just need everyone else to roll in behind it. Does that boost G seeing the kids out there? Uh, yeah, I would say so, yeah. It shows, like, obviously it shows it means something, like, to them as well. And obviously when you were a young fella, you always looked up to, like, senior teams. I know I did anyway in my own club and in my own county. So, like, if you can give them some inspiration to stay at it and maybe one day be wearing the jersey, then it's definitely worthwhile, you know? Because I know, like, in the winter months, it's almost as if you're packed up to Gaelic Park, shoving snow from the pitch and you don't see anyone. But then I would, it's the brighter nights now and you can see the kids out here. It, it means a lot to the kids, you can see, but uh, it must have a, an impact on you and obviously it does. Oh yeah, 100%, like look, it's mighty to see kids wearing jerseys, GA jerseys especially, like it's, I love it, even like we were up training in Rockland there a couple of weeks ago and I don't know, there come in a hundred young lads playing hurling between girls and lads and it was phenomenal to see, and that's what you need, like look, at the end of the day, a young American kid sees Jamie Bile as captain and is probably one of our best players, yeah. that's that's what it's about, like you know, it's that's barren, yeah. exactly, so that's, that's the way to develop, you know. So what's the plan for the next couple of days, lads? Uh, you're flying out Wednesday night and you're arriving Thursday morning, is it, in in, uh, in Ireland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, we've we've kind of got a good old schedule for the next few days. Um, just, I think we're doing a few kickabouts and a few fields all in and around where we're staying. Um, but where are you staying? We're staying in Newry, um, the Canal Court. So it's about an hour from Dublin, so it's not too bad. But um, yeah, I think I think the management have done a great job in kind of having a schedule like kind of rigidly set that you know we know what we're doing, when we're doing it, and like, how we're doing it and stuff like that, which you know takes a bit of the takes a bit of the mental demand off us because then all we need to do is focus on the game, you know, which is the main thing. 
So, like, what's the approach for the match Saturday, lads? Uh, Offaly, of course, a very good team. They've got um, John Ma and Tomas O'Shea in the back in the back room. Uh, under 20 winners last year, a good youth team. They had a disappointing league campaign, but like, they're still a very good outfit. And they've had those they've had those games the last two weeks that you just you didn't have. So it's, it's a bit of a disadvantage on the New York side. Yeah, sure. Look, as I said at the start, like, no one's given us a chance again, and it. Probably don't have to go too far, you don't even have to leave New York to see people not giving us a chance, but sure, who cares, like the end of the day it's 15 and 15. You thrive for that Johnny? Sorry? You thrive under being the underdog? Oh sure look, I was always the underdog all my life, <laughs> might as well stay going. Yeah. What's your approach Mick? Uh, yeah, I think we're in a, in a great position, like we have a great opportunity because there's there's little expectation, you know, yeah. and as you say, yeah, we know Offaly have a lot of qualities peppered throughout their team, but we have some good quality players too and we're going to give it a rattle, you know, and the great thing is we kind of have nothing to lose, as Johnny alluded to, like, like, you know, a lot of pundits have given us no chance in that, so like, we just go out and play in a bit of expression and see what happens. Absolutely. Best of luck, lads. Thanks very much. For the latest New York GA news and other Irish American sports stories, visit thelonghaulpodcast.com, where you'll find all of our latest podcasts, including our review podcast on the Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano fight, an interview with Kerry football legend Pat Spillane, and a podcast with Mead football legend Graham Garrity. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Long Haul Pod.